Uh, good evening, everybody. I know another another words, but come on, I'm interested in this. And I only left off on chapter 23. Now, I honestly thought I wasn't going to be able to do any more of this because I honestly thought that the creator deleted all of the, their shit because of harassment that's been going on, but I'm not going to talk about that. And I apologize if I sound like this. I, in my opinion, still kind of sound the same, but I'm going to be like more out of breath and I have a stuffy ass nose because I am really fucking sick because of the temperatures of last week. So yeah, I'm just going to continue on reading all this shit. Make sure uh, no kids are watching this because I've noticed that there's been some kids in the comment section. So yeah, uh, let me begin. I right, stop doing that. Fluttershy is bleeding to death. Damn, how it hurts. Health 38%, pain 39%. I'll have to cut off my wings at this rate. I'll end up bleeding to death if I don't do anything. It's no use. If I'm immune in the in this case, the blood won't stop coming out just because of that. What is I hear his footstep sounds? Is there anyone else here? Oh, it's Starlight. Fluttershy? Are you infected? Eh, no, no talking. All right, they just broke my wings. You know what? If you continue like this, you will end up dying. If you want, I can help you, but there is no solution for your wings. They will end up rotting due to all the infections that exist at the moment. It is dangerous to get hurt now. But place it if you want. I will cut your wings and bandage you. I, I have medicine to reduce the pain. If that's the only thing I can do to not die, I guess I'll have to give in. Good. I will be careful. Starlight takes out a blade that she brought with her, puts some alcohol on it, and goes to Fluttershy. Starlight begins to cut Fluttershy's wings. Fluttershy begins to scream desperately from the pain, feeling the gray sharpness of the blade and the burning of the alcohol. Fluttershy writhes in pain and asks Starlight to be quicker when it comes to cutting. Starlight has clipped Fluttershy's wings. And a picture of Fluttershy and a picture of Starlight. So... <laughs> Wings are gone, I guess. Rarity, even Rarity, even though she was half gone without half of her organs, a few broken ribs, even with pieces of skin hanging off, she got re got ready, determinedly covered her body and her neck with a beautiful fur. Interesting. So she's somehow still alive. I don't see her eyes though. I still don't understand how I'm still alive. This w will this be a morbid way of solving this problem? I just know that I have some unfinished business with that this thing, I mean, disgusting woman. I apologize. Wherever you are, I'll find you, Pinkie Pie. And I'll tear your skin again and again. If you run away, I'll look for you again and again and again. And with Twilight's perspective, recording still. Hello, hello, hello. I have new information. <laughs> If the parasites are removed from the area, they die instantly and the area will simply be left with their wound unless they have laid their eggs there and and you have not removed them. But if the wound is exposed, it will still be infected again. So you have to clean and close the wound to be free of danger. That is just one way to stop the infection, although it, it is seriously painful. That was my research today. Stop recording me, fucker. <laughs> in, a, in another side. And how do you feel now, Flutter? I understand that it may be painful for you. And more so because they are... They be <clears throat> Sorry. Because they were your wings. You were born with them and now I had to cut them off. Is so... I'm trying to read this. I'm sorry. Fluttershy just looked at Starlight, her eyes tired from crying so much. Don't worry. Meow. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess this is a flashback. Fluttershy is confused. Wasn't it easier to use your horn? Well, Flutter, I have bad news. Magic doesn't work. It's as if some something in the air is stopping the expulsion of magic in our horns. I'm with Sunset, and she can't use her magic either. And the days went by, we could perform less and less magic. 
and now we just can't. I wonder if all of the us who perform magic can right now. Shit, shit, shit. If Discord can no longer perform magic now, how will I know where he is? Will he still have the ability to do it? Is something wrong? You are very quiet. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking things. And with Twilight again. Recording? What if I run away? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not... Okay. So, magic doesn't work. Now, the question is, is Discord going to still be able to use magic? I guess I'll probably have to find out. Oh, what's this? Is this like a little... Tra little trailer thing. I right, restarted. Don't worry. My little worms presents opalescence. I think that's what it means. It says, "Sister, do you know I have you? I love you a lot. Oh my! I'm so hungry. Bring me something, okay, please. Okay, but behave well. Oh, I I can't read that. I'm just gonna. I hope you behave as well. Rarity went to order food from Pinkie Pie, who was working. She even invited her to eat with them. Oh, maybe it did give me time to read that. Maybe. Dear, I'm home. I invited Pinkie to eat with us. <laughs> what the? Oh, what's wrong with Pinkie? <laughs> what the fuck? So was it Sweetie that started it all? Sweetie was the one that ate Opal then. So I guess, was it Pinky or was it Sweetie Belle that was infected first? Oh my. Right. Rainbow and Applejack have already, I mean, had already left the cabin a while ago with the infection of stopping, with the intention of stopping the infected from getting closer to where they were staying. Health 90%, hunger 47%. Dash, we have to find my family. I know they must be somewhere. Somewhere. I know they are strong. For Applejack, health 98%, hunger 35%. But do you have at least some idea where they should be? They could be anywhere. At this rate, we will end up finding Princess Celestia before your brothers. Now, Rainbow, be more positive. Along the way, we can find the more survivors, people who would be great help. Just try not to hurt yourself, Dashi. The air is heavy. Insects even stick to the skin like honey. I don't understand why. Why, why would some larvae be affecting the air? I don't know. Maybe it's not even the cause of those larvae. A few hours before. Follow me, Flutter. The place I mentioned is only a few steps away. Air on the little house. Or a little shelter. And there's Sunset Shimmer. <laughs> Until they finally arrive. Fluttershy? No. Sunset Shimmer looks closely at Fluttershy, noticing her se severed wings. Oh, are you okay? What happened? I mean by your wings. I had to cut them off before the infection spread further. I even put stitches sewing the wound. It is the only way to so far that the larvae did not get into her body and start eating her alive. Or not necessarily because of the larvae. Thousands of infections would have gotten into an open wound. It was unnecessary to do it, but now it's fine. Right, Shy? Mm-hmm. And you? Aren't you supposed to live in that other alternate world? What are you doing here? Phew. Long story. So... I have a lot of questions now, but... I'm gonna keep reading. Alright, so we're with Sunset Shimmer now, again. Alright, a few days ago. A message from Princess Celestia. Dear Sunset Shimmer, we need your help here in the po in the pony world. A tragedy has happened. The virus is affecting the ponies. We have even noticed that the magic is not working well. It is now or never, or most likely the portal to your world will close completely. I await your response, Sunset. I, I and Luna fully trust you. Ata, Princess Celestia. What the... Will Twilight be okay? I'm in her debt for everything, and not, and if she's in danger now, I need to help her. Twilight was completely crazy. The larvae were eating only half her face, leaving her face, her leaving her eye protruding from. 
Did I say protruding? I think so, from her face. Apparently, she was aware of what she was doing, having seen Spike die. And to top it off, she started eating him and experimenting with him. He was driving her crazy. Uh, I can't see that. All right, um... I believe that the larvae were inside her brain. The fact that she was still conscious led her to fall into dementia. There are no sensible explanations as to why it is it has only been affecting her brain and not her entire body. The rest of the infected usually suffer from complete insomnia, but Twilight was another case. Twilight doesn't understand. What? <laughs> what is going on? Right, with Twilight, I mean with Fluttershy, Starlight, and Sunset, cutting her wings, eh? You are smarter than I thought, Starlight. Much smarter. No wonder Fluttershy is so naive. Fluttershy, and you? Aren't you supposed to live in that other alternate world? What are you doing here, hmm? Honey, don't you think the doll looks strange? The smell is something alright with Mr. and Mrs. Cake? With Day Zero? Hmm. Why do they look like that? It's not the first thing I found this same smell when did you order the the things it must be your imagination the merchandise was recently released from what they told me hmm okay here taking advantage of of the fact that you are here i would like to ask you if you want to go to lunch with me and sweetie bell sure you know well that i would love rare love rarity okay <laughs> i'm going out for a while Okay, be careful. Presents. Wait, hold on. So, the infection spread from the food. Okay, sorry. Be quiet. Okay, so Rarity found Pinky. Right. Hmm, Fluttershy. I have to talk something with starlight in private all right flutter can you wait here it doesn't bother you right not at all great wait here starlight and sunset went to another room leaving fluttershy alone in the main room did she really believe your wings show wait did she really believe your wings show okay i think so what if she had discovered that you had other intentions but she didn't which is the important thing and how were you able to confirm that the girl really is immune? It, there were larvae on her wings, and they were all dead. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was going to happen to her if I didn't remove her wings. The wound was going to heal on its own, and she would be fine. But apparently she believed everything I told her. Well done, Starlight. Did you bring the wings? Yes, here you go. Starlight shows the wings to Sunset Shimmer. Perfect, with this we can po get a possible cure. But the girl's wings alone won't be enough. You will have to work with her again, Starlight. Again? Okay! I think I know where this is going. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, that face is a thumbnail. Hopefully this is not copyright. Recording again? Hello? I have been thinking about it seriously, very seriously, in the most serious ways that can exist. I'm going to go to hell. I'm hungry too hungry. And that son of a bitch spike t tastes like shit. That I ended up vomiting up his remains. And I ate my vomit, even the same shit that comes out of my ass. What the fuck? <laughs> it was never a good idea to be here. So I'll be fine. Sorry, Spike. I'll abandon you here for being a son of a, a son of the great shit. <laughs> Stop recording me. Twilight has hit the camera. Twilight broke the lock on the bedroom door. Twilight escaped. Okay. So that's a problem now. <laughs> and with Starlight again, right? Uh, uh, you're not serious, are you? I'm serious, Starlight. Do as I tell you. We'll use her as a lab rat. Wow. I didn't mean to, uh... Jinx it. 
And if it gets so complicated for you, I'll do it myself. Sunset Shimmer has been shot. But what the fuck? Sunset Shimmer notices Fluttershy's presence. Bitch, how dare you? Don't try to escape, Shy. I will break every damn bone in your legs if necessary. Sunset runs after Fluttershy even after being shy and Fluttershy having recently lost both, both wings, the adrenaline ran through both of her bodies. Both of their bodies. Fluttershy trips over furniture. Sunset lunges at her. Fluttershy has been captured. Fluttershy wakes up hours later. She had been knocked unconscious. As she's strapped to a chair. Until you finally wake up, Shy Shy. Sunset Shimmer had a butcher knife at her side. See this? With this, I will take out every piece of your body. Don't worry, darling. I will be gentle. Fluttershy makes sounds desperately. She can't scream. Her mouth has been covered. I don't think I'm done this because I have something against you. I just want to help a friend. Only you have the possibility to help her. Come on, don't be selfish, dear Shy. It, it's not like your life matters much. Well, enough talk. Let's start with th this. Just you and me. Oh! Hopefully, uh... I don't... Uh, hopefully that does not happen. I don't... <laughs> Stop doing that. Alright, sensitive content. Really, this was already sensitive content to begin with. <laughs> Look, Shy, this will be your new friend. <laughs> Why are you like this? You know well that this is all your fault. You are completely sh selfish. Have you seen other ponies, Fluttershy? To your friends? All the people are chaos. Having the cure, you still decide to keep quiet and not say anything. Sorry, excuse me. Don't think that I am the bad guy in the story. You are the disgusting rat that has no compassion for others. It doesn't matter if you die along the way. I will use your whole body to, uh, to uh, find the cure. I just want to help Twilight, which you couldn't even do. You're so disgusting that even knowing you're immune, you don't help anyone. Just a little blood wasn't enough, Fluttershy, but you were still afraid and that's why I do do to you what I'm doing to you. And Starlight is behind her. A knife is being held to her throat. Enough, Sunset. You've come too far. Starlight, you son of a... <laughs> okay. Okay, then. <laughs> right, stop. An infected pony is nearby. Oh, there's slips and snails. Shit, shit. They are speaking in whispers. How will we get to the other side? There is an infected pony there. Don't make noise. We cannot make even the slightest sound or it will attack us. Does that thing have two heads? Can the infected mutate? How disgusting. And we have not seen the rest of, uh, of the infected. You have discovered a new type of infected. Wow. <laughs> I don't think he's leaving the place. He's been there for a while. Apparently, he's eating a dead animal or something. Pass me your knife, Apple. I will try to attack him from behind. Are you sure, Dashy? That thing is really ugly. Calm down. I'll be fine. Applejack gives her knife to Rainbow. Rainbow Dash attacks the infected pony from behind. Oh, poor Snips and Snails. Dashy? Believe me. It was extremely disgusting. A lot of larvae worms, parasites came out, and uh, I don't know. But a lot came out. There was even excrement behind him. What? And in his mouth, a disgusting smell. What the fuck? I can't imagine how hungry they can feel to even eat that. Applejack looks closely at Rainbow Dash. What happened to your ear? I told you to be careful. It wouldn't take long for that wound to become infected. The, the guy was already super advanced in his infection. You'll have to cut it. You are crazy. There's nothing else you can do. You don't know how much it will hurt me to do this to you, Dashy. So they're cutting her ear off now. Right. Trigger warning sensitive contents. Rainbow Dash returns Applejack's knife. Applejack approaches Rainbow. Did, did they disinfect the knife? Oh, no. 
Applejack's knife. Uh, Applejack approaches Rainbow with knife in hand and amputates her ear. Applejack disinfects his 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 wound and bandages the area. Are you okay? Sorry, you had to take a risk for both or both, and you ended up losing an ear. I'm fine if you are. Yeah, you are so brave to have risked yourself like that, Dashi. Why did I read that so slow? <laughs> Rainbow laughs mockingly. It calls me to be the one who lost my ear. <laughs> Applejack kisses Rainbow in gratitude for her bravery. Oh, we got some Apple Dash. Okay. <laughs> we should go. <laughs> it's already getting dark. Both leave the place with the intention of looking for a place to take refuge at night. A body! Fake gun. Congratulations. Applejack and Rainbow Dash have found a gun along with ammo while walking. Rainbow the Rainbow. Okay. I'm going to try to uh, read this. Alright. Do you by chance know how to use a weapon? Yes, I already have experience with them. God, you impress me even at the end of the world. You are incredible. Yeah, so cute. Alright. <laughs> it went from horror shit to, flirt to uh, Apple Dash though. In the AU. Applejack and Rainbow Dash continue moving forward. Unfortunately, it became dark along the way and they couldn't find shelter. Apple Apple Bloom design made by Alright. Brother, where are you? Apple Bloom, you're here. Sister? Calm down, darling. Your sister's already here. I thought I would never see you again. Apple Bloom runs off where Applejack is. Here I am, little. Everything will be fine. We found you. Calm down. What the hell is that? <laughs> Shit, there are more and more infected right now. You two will leave. I don't want you to be here. I will use the weapon. I'll buy you time so you can run as far as you can, understand? I don't want any butts. Apple? I'll be fine. Take care of my sister, okay? That was not necessary! Rainbow Dash grabbed Apple Bloom and with tears in her eyes, they both ran as fast as they could. Applejack had no mercy when attacking. Even though she was nervous with her eyes full of tears, she defended her beloved and her dear sister. Dear Dashy, you will be my last sigh and my last breath and without doubt the last beat of my heart are all yours. They, they, they were Applejack's last words since unfortunately for her, they, the infected were already really close. Too close. And Applejack died at their hands. That was not necessary, okay? I, I, let me be a little bit of a criticizer here. That was not necessary! <laughs> Trigger warning sensitive. Oh, they got derpy. Are you serious? Is that Twilight? Get away. Damn, how annoying. <laughs> Why does that look funny? Apple? Applejack? You're all shit. Is it you, Apple? Yeah, it's definitely you. What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> Twilight had a few moments regained her sanity. Applejack? T Twilight? Applejack responded with her last strength. Twilight, help me. And who the hell are you? Apparently Twilight wasn't very sane and left her lying there alone. Completely alone, dying in that place with, her, with most of her organs outside her body. Okay, so Applejack is fucking dead. Okay. And back with Sunset and Starlight. Are you going to stop this Sunset? Are you on her side now? What a hypocrite you are, Starlight. I remind you that it was you who cut off her wings. It was you who deceived her. If you had not wanted to do this from the beginning, you would have told her the other th ways to do things. Periods. <laughs> Starlight brings the knife closer to Sunset's throat. Because I didn't think you'd get this far, Sunset. That's the problem. I thought you. I thought just the wings would be more than enough. 
But you are being very extreme. What is the need to want to cut off her entire body? You said it yourself, only blood samples were enough, nothing more than that. Do you really think she would give you her blood? She's a self- she's selfish, she wouldn't even give that. Yes, if it wasn't the good way, it will have to be the bad way. That's how things are in this shitty world. I shouldn't even be here because of damn Princess Celestia who doesn't want to take care of her own problems. Even so, I came to help. Twilight came to help Twilight. That's the only thing that matters to me. That was the reason for me for coming here. If it hadn't been for her, I wouldn't be here. So stop getting involved in my plan, Starlight. You're ruining everything. I came to this world for one reason, and I will fulfill it no matter what. Do you understand? Did you understand me? Oh my, I'm losing breath. Please, Sunset, don't make me do this. Stop being such a coward for once. If you want to kill me, do it. Now I understand that you never gave a shit. So, is she actually gonna kill her? <laughs> oh, Princess Celestia, let me help. Let me help you. You brought me here only for your convenience. I didn't mind risking it for my own people. Everyone must be very scared. What they need most in in these times is someone who can help them. We must be that someone for once in our lives. Enough, Luna. Don't you understand? Everyone would attack you. They would demand things from you. Even people who are not infected would become aggressive because they did not see what they asked for. Where did you plan to do everything they want? Do you really think you are capable? No, you are not, not at all. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to clear my throat. We don't even have magic to do anything. The best thing we can do is run away before they attack us. I brought you here with me because I don't want anything bad to happen to you, Luna. But Cadence was more stubborn than you. Have you ever wondered where her husband and daughter are? Of course you don't know because they, you live in a bubble. They are both dead. What? Kaden stayed there because she doesn't want to let go of the corpse of her family. She is a mother who lost her daughter and her husband at the same time. That's why she is there. I saw her hiding their bodies in another room. What the fuck? Nobody is a saint in this shitty world, Luna. But this didn't have to be like this. If only we had done something in time. But we did it, and that's the harsh reality. So that's enough, Luna. What the fuck? Alright. Where the fuck am I? It smells like death here and more sensitive content shit. Why does that render look so funny to me? I don't know why. <laughs> Spike, I know you're here. I know you're hiding. Don't be afraid, dear Spike. I know you're out there recording me. Fuck Spike. Spike, where am I? You are around here, Spike. I don't understand. Where did you go? Weren't we supposed to stay together? Spike? Flashback. What the? Twilight vomited on herself because of the disgusting disgust she felt when remembering what her, she herself had done. What have I become? Oh, there's only an eye there. <laughs> what have you become? As to what it really is, you and me, we are complete disgusting whores who killed the fucking spike. <laughs> Admit it, Twilight. We're not normal. You're not a really sane pony anymore. But things do not have to be this way. Please, enough. Get out of my head. Leave me alone. I will never leave you alone. We are now two in one. Accept it. Why is someone saying the stay in the box thing in the comments? <laughs> right. Trigger. Oh, flashback, I think. Love, I'm here. Please skip. Alright. Hello, love. You look tired. Is something wrong? You don't know how complex all this is. It's a pain in the ass. It must be difficult. They both give each other a sweet and warm kiss. Do you know where our daughter is? He's playing... He... <laughs> He's playing in the room. <laughs> I'll go look for her. Where are... Dear, where are you? Oh god, Flurry Heart. Here you are, treasure. You found her. You saw she was here. Yes, love, I found her. 
And how did you resolve the virus? It's not easy at all, love. <laughs> so they're dead. They're still dead. Kaden still couldn't get over the fact that her family was dead. That it even altered her reality so that her poor heart would stop stop suffering from all this. Kaden was performing necrophilia on her husband's corpse. What? What? Okay. I didn't. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, maybe I'm thinking about it too hard. Oh, they begin to not put the sensitive content thing. That's what I've noticed. All right. What the fuck is wrong with you, Pinky? Why did you do all this? Is something wrong with me? Did I do something wrong? Answer me, damn it. Don't you understand it? You were everything to be rarity, and yet you decided to do that. It's your fault that I'm like this. I barely recognize you. I could barely talk to you like someone conscious. I don't remember a single thing other than that damn day. Do you think this is... Do you think all this was my fault? How would I know that she was sick? We were all sick here. Your own sister was eating your cat, and your cat was eating her entire mouth to defend herself. Did you not see how shitty that area was? And to top it all off, you and I killed your sister, Rarity. We devoured every part of her body. It's the only thing I can remember to this day. I don't even know how, who you were to me before all this. I don't remember it at all. I can't remember. It's a shame, having to remember everything we went through together. Why did you have to mer mercy on me when you sold my whole body? Did you regret it? Why did you have mercy? I don't understand. Why the fuck did you help me if you don't remember me at all? Don't ask questions that I can't even answer myself. Neither of them could remember the events. Exactly, both had fallen into madness after witnessing such a scene that became traumatic for them. Now, sorry, I'm clearing my throat. <laughs> so, if they're infected, do they still have their sanity? Like, they're still acting a little like themselves. Maybe I'm just dumb. Trixie? Alright, day 24. Here, the great and powerful Trixie. It has been about 20 days, perhaps, since the first infection of this virus. But I have collected the following information in all these days. This virus is an infectious... Infect I can't read that. Disease that affects ponies and turns them into aggressive and cannibalistic creatures. The virus causes those infected to carry larvae, worms, and parasites that lodge in the brain and body of those infected. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat for this. Symptoms, high fever and chills, loss of appetite and weight, changing color and textures of, her, of the fur and fur, fur and fur, <laughs> bleeding from the eyes, nose and mouth, loss of consciousness and speech, aggression and violence towards other ponies and animals, cannibalism and necrophagy, what, what the fuck? Resistance to pain and wounds, decomposition and purification of fabrics. And they can also mutate somehow. I've seen a few mutated ponies. It's really scary. The virus has the ability to mutate and adapt to different environmental conditions and host some of the mutations observed are the following. Symptoms muta mutation. Increased size and strength of infected ponies. Development of claws, fangs, and horns. Emission of cultural and terrifying sounds. Formation of hives and zombie swarms, generation of spores and toxins that infect air and water, resistance to antibiotics and antivirals. Interesting. Important note. The virus being able to mutate ponies can also combine two or more ponies to create a single body which increases its strength and resistance. I still don't know, don't very know exactly about these mutations. I need more time. I wonder if there are worse things than mutation. Well, that's it for today's information. The great and powerful Trixie says goodbye. 
I like that design, to be honest. <laughs> all right. Again with this. All right, let me go, damn it. I'll stop this, I promise. Starlight lowered the knife and released Sunset Shimmer. Why don't you understand that I do this for the good of everyone? Sunset, you wanted to sacrifice someone innocent. Have you never heard the dilemma that says, would you sacrifice one life to save five? What would you say? But this is different. It is not different at all, Starlight. The only difference is that it will not only be five lives, but the whole world. Be rational for once. I'm being it, Sunset. We both have our points of view. Neither of them is right, and now... If only Trixie hadn't gotten lost. Do you think that if she was here, she would think the same as us? It's, it is more than obvious that she is looking for other solutions. If she's still alive. I know she is alive. Yes, Sunset, I know she's strong and probably still alive, but look at how things are. There are too many possibilities. Sunset looks at Starlight and Fluttershy carefully. Fluttershy is very scared. Sorry, Starlight. Sunset throws the knife at Starlight. What the fu- So, okay. Starlight got stabbed. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, we got more of Trixie. Alright. I had forgotten to show you. Other symptoms. Acceleration and alteration of heart and respiratory rhythm. Delision of redness and of the pupils. Increased body temperature and sweat. Decreased sensitivity to pain and fear. Constant and compulsive hunger. Aggression and territorial towards the other ponies and animals. Loss of memory and identity. I also discovered that ponies that are attracted to the smell of flesh and blood. Light attracts them as loud sounds. By the way, I have a few things in my bag that might be of help. Fake weapon. Okay, I I think I see why they put fake weapon. I know. No! Please don't tell me you're gonna kill off Trixie. Please. All right. I know that this. I know that with this, I will be able to find Starlight and Sunset. No, 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 no. Please, please. Trixie looks closely at the camera screen. Trixie, please run. What is that behind me? Twilight? Damn, Twilight, you scared me. Sorry. Are you infected? How long have you been like this? I lost track of the days. But apparently you're still conscious. I guess you can still save yourself. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Trixie, please run. Trixie, please run. Twilight, you're scaring me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like a, only part of me is aware of what it does and the other half is totally controlled by the parasite. Your case is too strange. I've never seen an, a pony like that before. Please help me. I can't take this anymore. Twilight repeated a few times shouting, I can't hold on, I can't hold on, I can't hold on. I want to tear off my skin. Please calm down. Do you know how I can help you? I... If the parasites are removed from the area, they die instantly and the area will simply be left with their wound. Unless they have laid their eggs there, there you and you have not removed them. There is. There is a way. What the fuck happened to your hair? It burned. <laughs> what an asshole. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Please, please don't kill Trixie. Please, that's all I want to know, bro. All right. With Floor Deletion, I forgot that dude's name. Are you okay? Sorry if it worries you when it comes to running away like that. Yeah, I'm fine, sir. Don't worry. I'm just spraying my back leg a little. Other than that, I'm fine if you are too. Changing the subject. Didn't you see how aggressive that deer was? Apparently the animals are becoming more aggressive. Even if you don't do anything to them, they still attack. I still think the cure may be in them, sir. But it will be difficult if we have not if we do not have test subject uh, test objects. Even taking samples from animals will be difficult. It's very risky. They could attack us and infect us. 
but don't worry about that. I'm willing to take that risk for you. In these circumstances, I want us both to protect each other, not just you to me. But, but nothing. Could you show me the information we already have? Sure, here you go. Okay, another thing, okay. <clears throat> it is transmitted through direct and indirect contact with the body, body fluids of infected animals such as blood, saliva, urine, or feces. It could also remain in contaminated soil water or food for a long time. There is no treatment or vaccine. Vaccinate again. Okay, I'm not going to read the crossed off things. Alright. <clears throat> Dogs and cats. They are carnivorous mammals and belong to the canid and felid families, respectfully. They have a highly developed sense of smell and are social and domestic animals. They can become infected by worms and parasites such as hookworms, tapeworms, or toxicaras. I have never heard of that kind of parasite. Which lodge in their intestines or other organs. These parasites can pass to fly, lar fly larvae that feed on their excrement or open wounds. It's a shame that even domestic animals are like this. <clears throat> rodents. They are rodent mammals that are characterized by having in, in sensors that grow continuously that they use for gnawing. There are many species of rodents such as mice, rats, squirrels, beavers, or rabbits. They are omnivorous animals and adapted to various habits. They can be infected by worms and parasites such as nematodes, cestodes, <sighs> Tods or trematodes, I don't know how to say Nema trematodes, which are transmitted by consumption or contaminated food or water by or by contact with other infected animals. These parasites can pass to fly larvae that are feeding on their on their excrement or their open wounds. And another paper, oh my lord. <clears throat> Wild boars, they are artrodecto, I don't know how to say that. Mammals that belong to the sewer family along with pigs. They have a robust body and elongated head, sharp fangs, and rough dark fur. They are omnivorous animals and nocturnal habits. They live in forests, meadows, and mountains areas. Mountainous areas? They can become infected by worms and parasites such as chill <sighs> I can't say any of this which lodge in their muscles, liver, or lung. These parasites can pass to fly larvae that feed on their excrement or open wounds. We have collected this so far, sir. Let's keep walking. Maybe we'll find something ahead, as you say. With Trixie and Twilight. Please don't kill Trixie. Please don't kill Trixie. Do you want me to get all that out of your face? You are undoubtedly crazy. It's the only way I know. The bugs have gotten into my brain. Do you think you can help me? I... I am the great and powerful Trixie. Of course I am capable. But you had to look for a cleaner place. There would be no point if I took them out and they reinfested it in an instant. You're right. But keep your distance from me, Twilight. Believe me, I don't want to hurt you, but if you decide to attack me, I will have no mercy. What a bad vibe. <laughs> I know. Okay. Alright, with Trixie and Star. The great and powerful Trixie along with Twilight look for a safer and cleaner place to deworm Twilight. You know, when I saw you, I thought you would hurt me or eat me. I would never do that. Ah, so of course I would have done it. Twilight was getting very close to Trixie. Well, you're helpful, so I won't do it. What the fuck is that face? Ah, <laughs> yeah, we agreed that you would keep some distance. Trixie takes a few steps, somewhat scared. What a bad vibe. <laughs> Sorry. While I stands back. Trixie kept walking. I know you're watching me. Trixie and Twilight, after a long walk and some problems with Twilight's changes, arrive at a cleaner Tyrion. Well, Twilight, I hope you can control yourself while I deworm you. I beg you. <laughs> Twilight, don't worry, Twi Trixie. I'll try to control myself. Alright. 
Trixie takes out a knife and sterilizes it with a little alcohol. Here I go. Trixie cuts some of Twilight's skin to remove the parasites with tweezers. Twilight, this hurts. Be more careful. <laughs> it would hurt less if you stayed still, Twilight. I had to take pieces of your skin from other places so I can... So I can reshape your face. Are you sure? Alright, just do it. Trixie took pieces of Twilight's skin to sew them to her face to close the wound. And that's it. Sorry if this was painful, frog face. Shut up, shut up, Burns here. <laughs> I feel lighter. It was painful, but it feels good. Thank you very much, Trixie. Without you, I couldn't have done this. Although my blindness in my left eye will not go away. At least it's just that. Yes, of course. It's just at least just that at least. Wait. I thought they infected the brain. I thought they infected her brain. What the fuck? Pinkie Pie had been silent for a few minutes. Her body soon had tick reactions. Pinky? Her eyes were bulging out of play place gagging as she wanted to vomit something from inside her. It showed certain green spots on its body and the strange liquid that fell from its snout and this had a dark tone. She made heartbreaking and strange sounds. Inside her snout came a smell of pure, pure putrefaction. I don't even know how to say that. It was full of larvae that were eating the walls of her cheeks. Rarity soon had the same strange reaction as Vicky. Her face melted as that liquid fell all over her face. Rarity had her tonsils full of you well, and some larvae laying their eggs. It was really disgusting to see how they were rotting from the inside. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it has a different layout now. Guys, I before I read this. This has been blasting in my headphones, the sounds and the music. So, I'm sacrificing my sanity just for this. Alright. Could we rest? We have walked a lot. Not yet. Apple Bloom scenting rainbow dashes seriousness remains silent from a large part of the way. Rainbow dash, my legs can't handle it anymore. Please, let's rest, I'm begging you. God, you are annoying. It's okay, we'll rest for a little while. Old Pony is staying in an abandoned house to rest. I'll explore- I'll go explore the house. Try not to die, little girl. <laughs> ah. Apple Bloom explores the house while Rainbow Dash regrets leaving Applejack behind. Why did you do it, Applejack? Why did you have to be the he hero in, in, of this situation? Apple Bloom appeared out of nowhere, running and screaming desperately. Run! It's chasing me! Oh, so there's someone infected there, probably. But right. why the I don't know Sterling music? <laughs> All right, shit. Apple Bloom hide. Apple Bloom and Rainbow Dash had hidden somewhere further down. What was that supposed to be? Rainbow Dash signaled for her to be quiet. Shh. It's already gone. How are you so sure about that? What was that thing? It seems they were... Forget it, girl. Are you okay? Are you tired? Stress, 97%. Tiredness, 76%. Tiredness, 98%. Pain, 87%. I'm very tired, Rainbow Dash. I fell down the stairs when I came running to tell you. It hurts me a lot. I'll go see if that thing is still there. Wait here for me. Shit, it's still there. What the fuck is that?! Is that Pinky and Rarity? What the hell? What the fuck happened to Pinky and Rarity? It's disgusting. I don't know how I get out of this place. The girl is a nuisance. Applejack won't be back. Sorry, Apple Bloom. Rainbow Dash left the place leaving the girl behind. She had abandoned her so as to not to waste time. There is no more to hinder us anymore, dear Shy. I'm sorry for being so abrupt and cruel to you. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing it for the greater good. Did they kill Fluttershy? Ah, oh, this story is fucked. 
Right, right. Idiot, you're okay. I stopped the bleeding as soon as I took the knife out of you. Sunset, it hurts too much. What the fuck did you do to Fluttershy? She is fine. Her heart is still beating. I only gave her a few medications. And I saw that she had parasites in her stomach. That's why she has a gash in her stomach. Although I had the intention of making a cure because I realized that the girl is not even immune. It was the parasite that was killing the larvae and worms. Wait, what? With Trixie and Twilight. I guess you're okay now? I'm fine, Trixie. Shall we stay here? Maybe you will stay here, but I'm leaving. I have things to do. I need to find Sunset and, I, and Starlight. The last time I was with them, they mentioned a place they must be there. Can I accompany you? I promise to be of help. Good, but don't get in the way. With Sunset and Starlight. Sorry, Starlight. This shouldn't have been like that. After all, I still love you, Sunset. Okay, so they're gay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Starlight and Sunset hear the door of the place open. What? Who the fuck? Sunset? Starlight. Trixie. Trixie sees Fluttershy hanging. Oh, what the fuck, Sunset? What did you do? Trixie, please. Twilight, what are you doing here? What the fuck did you do to Fluttershy? It's not what you think, Twilight. Please, I've done all this just for you. For me? <laughs> for me? End of season one. So that's where I'm ending it off because I've been reading this for almost an hour and I'm still kind of sick. Well, basically really fucking sick because I've been coughing a lot. So that's where it ends. I'll continue reading this hopefully soon if I see if season two is out. Is season two out? Oh, we got, there's 10 episodes of season two. So I'll read that in another video. So please leave a like, subscribe. I'll see if I can probably get a good night's rest with all that music that I've gotten in my ears. So yeah, see ya.